what is up guys? Holder here, welcome back to the start of the end <laughs> for our Shining Pearl Hardcore Nuzlocke. We begin in the Elite for today. Uh, I have yet, you guys will know based on clicking this, I have yet to figure out if this is going to be one fight per, two fights per. I guess it depends on how quick Eren takes. Um, but you can see on the layout, uh, our final team We'll go over them, but you see one who may not be a familiar face, and that, un unless you're in the Discord or on Twitter. Um, and I'm just gonna go ahead and put this clip over here. So while I was grinding everyone, which took forever, by the way, um, you can see Jeffrey there. Boom! Shiny Houndoom. Just out of nowhere. I was minding my own business. It was like 6 in the morning or something. I was just watching YouTube videos and mindlessly grinding away. Um, and there we have it. A shiny, shiny claws. As always, that's full odds. I went ahead and named it Persephone. It was not a mod I was thinking about. Like, fire type, dark type I was thinking about. But I was like, you know, it's a shiny. Why not bring them in for the end here? Um, I stuck a metronome on Persephone for now. Uh, it's mild nature, so the plus special attack, which is awesome. Flash fire, great. Um, but flamethrower, dark pulse, solar beam. Sunny day. Uh, le let me just... I was trying to do so many things. Ha that's half of the reason why grinding took so long. You can see... Uh, Bandito, I grinded to a bit. I didn't grind everyone to 63. Uh, actually, the only extra one who got 60 was Roomba. Um, mostly because I wanted to compare stats between Hippowdon and Mamoswine. I like Hippowdon more. Um, but it was, yeah, going through, I was like, I, I started grinding up the Magnemite, and I was like, well, I actually don't think I even want an electric type for the Elite Four. I did want a grass type. Virion was going to be where Persephone was, but Persephone came and said hello. Uh, I was like, well... I would like to use this. It is shiny claws, so why not? Uh, so that's why the sunny day solar beam is there. But we we've, we've got a few things we got to do about that. Um, and then Bandito, I was training for the Alakazam check, but I wanted to use sausage and the tube, and I too many options, not enough spaces. So the team we got Germaphobe, our level 63 Hippowdon. Holding lefties, I fought two, well, I stole, I, I used Thief. Um, stole from two uh, Munchlaxes to get some lefties. But uh, what nature? Careful nature, a minor special attack. Honestly, a pretty good nature. Uh, with Earthquake, Stealth Rock, Yawn, and Slack Off. Um, we got Sausage, who's been with us for a, a bit now. But Scald, Ice Beam, Dragon Pulse, Recover, is burned, and is holding... Should be holding. Lefties, yeah, unless I forgot. So we got the Marvel Scale, which was, yeah, the Marvel Scale active, even with our negative uh, defense nature. We got the Marvel Scale at the ready. Jeffrey, our crutch, honestly. Jeffrey, the Shiny Finder <laughs> as well. Of course, Naive Nature holding the Citrus Berry for now. That's going to be changing around, probably depending on where we're at. Psychic, I have a bunch of extra TMs to change that Psychic into Dazzling Gleam if we need. I don't know if we'll need that one. Um, Baton Pass, we can change it into Rest if we need. Agility and Calm Mind. Um, so yeah, Jeffrey's gonna be our setup and swap person. Uh, then of course, Persephone went over. The Tube, same moveset. Waterfall Crunch, Bulldoze, and D-Dance. The Tube is pretty much as good as we need. Um... Holding the Expert Belt now for extra damage. Um, and then II. The speed from II we very much need. Um, same moveset we did for last episode. So Strength, U-Turn, Air Release, Baton Pass, and I have some extra TMs that may or may not need swapped depending on the situation. Um, but holding the Sky Plate for said Air Release. But that is the team. Oh, there is one thing I do want to check. Um, speaking of hold items and extra different things, you know, I have all of these. I'm hoping my happiness for people is low enough that they're not going to cheat in this. Uh, we'll see. 
but I lucked out with a Cobra Berry. Uh, there's a Beery Berry in here too, but the Cobra Berry is a is a big one. Uh, and then I also got there's a Focus Sash from the Belt Man, but I want to see if I can get one last Clutch Berry to see if I have any uh, sneaky things, any any extra sneaky strats I could try to pull off here. All right, Berry Lady, hit me. A water berry would be sick. Brazelli. Don't I already have that? Isn't that the fairy berry? And I could have swore I just... Maybe not. No, what was I thinking then? Oh, Haban berry. Close to fairy, but not. Um, okay, well. Not a berry we can really do much with, but... Had to check. This Colber berry, though. That Colbert Berry might be, uh, very important. Okay. So, no fancy berry, but, um, that should be it. I'm hoping I covered everything I wanted to talk about. Um, there was just so much, and grinding took so long. Um, but I think it's, we're, we're good to go. I definitely want to leave Germaphobe because of a Stealth Rock, so I want to get the rocks up, and then we'll go from there. Um, as long as I can get I.I. in on, safely, in on Heracross, we should be good to go. Even though Eren does kind of scare me, but let's just get it. Let me confirm that you're qualified to challenge the Pokemon League. To do so, I'll need to examine the uh, gym badges you gathered from around Sinnoh. Fun fact, this doesn't actually check your badges. It's just a dialogue box. So if you made it here with no badges, you're still allowed in. I also don't know, I guess depending, like, talking about all the all the things, catching everything up, doing intro stuff, took a bit longer than expected, but it was kind of needed with how much happened. So, unless this battle is crazy long, you guys will know before me, um, this will probably be Eren and Bertha? Or we die here. I mean, you know, that's always a, a potential thing, too. Um, but okay. Let's get it. I am kind of worried because this guy gave me so many issues in Diamond. Welcome to the Pokemon League. I'm Aaron of the Elite Four. It's good to meet you. Oh, I should explain. I'm a huge fan of Bug Pokemon. Bug Pokemon are nasty mean, and yet they're beautiful too. Would you like to know why I take challengers, uh, take on challengers here in this room? Because I want to become perfect, just like my Bug Pokemon. Okay, let me take you on. Okay. So I know he has a really annoying dust ox. Does some toxic stalling shit, from what I can remember. I don't fully remember like its moves or held item or any of that. All I really remember about Eren is terrifying um, Heracross and also terrifying uh, scummy Drapion. He has a crit Drapion setup. Stealth Rock. Bug Buzz right out the gate. We should eat that, right? Oh, yeah. Okay. Not gonna toxic me. I mean, I appreciate that. <laughs> I definitely appreciate that. I'm kind of tempted to... That lefties. I'm kind of tempted to Earthquake. Like, we didn't take much damage. No! Nah. Well... Luckily, nothing happened. Okay. Uh, the sandstorm from Germaphobe hopefully won't ruin my my day. Like, the rocks are going to be big, but sandstorm, sandstorm should help. Hopefully. Okay. Let's, uh, you know what? I'm going to yawn you. There's the toxic. It's fine. It's fine. I was gonna earthquake, but you know, yawn, and I think we're just gonna switch. I think we're gonna switch to I.I. I. Cause I don't know where he would go next. Um, and switching in on that hair cross is going to be maybe the scariest thing. Like it, it, it's a half and half because Persephone with flamethrower. Um, and metronome that you know starting the the flamethrowers that'd be great but i think being a dark type 
he would switch in the Heracross immediately. And then we're kind of in a gross position. He'll probably switch the dark. Uh, we take this well, right? Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, he'll probably switch the Heracross in after this Dust Ox anyway. Okay, there's the sleep. So we can't get toxic over here. Um, Aerial Ace. Do we one shot? No. I was like, Dust Ox has a little bit of bulk. I'm hoping. Okay, there's. Sand is down. I'm hoping he doesn't heal. You think he would? Okay. I was like, he's not quite that low. Like, it would be, I don't know, it'd be half and half on whether or not a heal was good or not. Um, I guess I didn't really talk about the level cap. So, I saw your guys' comments. I liked, a lot of you said 66 going to Cynthia's Ace would have been fine. Uh, but I also like that, you know, go to 63 uh, because we're going to get all the experience. Um, either one, I, I decided 63. Also, with how long it took to get to 63, 66. <laughs> no, thank you. Okay, the rocks coming through. Heracross down that. Fingers crossed. Should be GG. Drapion is still a threat. I can't just rule out Drapion. But this beauty flag coming in. Rocks. Aerial Ace. Okay. What else do you... Do you have a Vespa coin? You do. Okay, now... I don't think I care. No berries. Yeah, because rocks take you... That, ooh. I, 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 what about the no bear? I still don't think I care. Like, I don't know that this will kill. No. But I don't think there's anything... Okay. I can respect it. I was like, I don't think there's anything I need to really worry about. No, I can respect that. For sure. Okay. Are we already at your last mon, or are you saving something? Stealth Rock, I'm you turning. Immediately. Oh, you have five, not six. Okay. Uh, you turn. We're going into... You out! No. I I gotta Google something. What? <laughs> Wait a minute. Drapion. I I didn't think Drap God I'm Drapion. I thought Drapion was like fairly slow. Um but sir, you just outsped our monkey, which I believe is negative speed nature, which I did mention might be an issue. Drapion is base 95. Oh, no. Granted, I don't know his nature, but he is max IV. So. But we're base 115 negative nature, but base 115 and what, was six levels higher? Is he 57? Yeah. Wow. Okay. That is terrifying. Cross poison, that's a crit. Like I said, he has the scum crit set. But the poison, really? That poison might have fucked me. That might have ruined everything. First Pokemon League victory doesn't come easily, kid. Shut up, bug boy. Um, you know what? I think he's gonna heal. I, I'm feeling pretty confident that he's about to heal. Yeah. So we're gonna bull those again. Now he's at minus two speed. And now, at minus two speed. Oh, we don't do over half. I was gonna, I was gonna bull those again. Fuck. 
Okay, we need to go out into um, germaphobe. God damn it. We get the sand damage in here, at the very least. Cross poison. We eat that. We're already we're talk that was a crit too. We're toxic. We're gonna be taking that. A little bit of lefties. And EQ. That should be GG. An EQ. Yeah, it's stab. Oh. Okay. A little bit of issue, but no death. That's all that mattered. I, I hit in 64 as well. Look at you. I will concede defeat, but I think you came to see how great bug type Pokemon can be. I hope you also realize what you're up against in the Pokemon League. Battling is a deep and complex affair. Ooh. I lost with the most beautiful and toughest of the bug Pokemon. We lost because I wasn't good enough. That's it. Back to training camp. Let's hear it for me. No, that was wrong. Anyway, go on to the next room. Three more trainers are waiting for you. They're all tougher than me. All right. Time to heal up. Um, And I might... I might need to do some... Yeah, I definitely need to change at least one health item. Okay. We're fully healed. Now for that item change. Um... I... Not a berry. Focus that. So, I mentioned a few episodes ago um, that having a grass type for Bertha pretty much makes Bertha free. You notice we don't have a grass type. And then I got Persephone. Persephone is our grass type. Um, which should hopefully work out. I have the focus ash to make sure we can at least kill. Oh, well, we'll kill one mon. <laughs> at minimum, one mon. Um. But okay. I think, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because we'll focus Ash, Sunny Day, Solar Beam. She leads with a Quagsire. I don't actually know what that Quagsire does. Um, when I did this in Diamond, I had a Carnivine, who just one shot it. So I've never seen what moves it had. Um, AI can sometimes be really dumb, so if we're super lucky, <laughs> maybe we'll have full HP by the end of turn one. We'll see. Well, well, you're quite the adorable trainer, but you've also got a spine. <laughs> I'm Bertha. I have a preference for ground-type Pokemon. Well, would you show this old lady how much you've learned? Nice and easy. Okay. Um, speak of easy, Bertha was probably, uh, it is probably the hardest of the five hardest easiest of the five um which doesn't necessarily mean she's easy uh can't sleep on bertha she still worries me i gonna i don't know <laughs> i mean technically yes i could steal solar beam but then i'm fucked for whatever she goes into now uh we sunny day and what do you what do you have? I don't even know if we need the Okay. I don't even know if we need the Focus Ash. We do. We did need the Focus Ash to live. Okay, I don't know if we would take one or not. That answered that. No. No, we will not. Solar Beam though, you don't take that. Whew. Okay. Now, she has a golem, which would be problematic. I hope she doesn't go into the golem next. Because the golem has sturdy. Uh, and I can't... I can't stay in on that. Sudowoodo. Okay. Um, I love Sudowoodo. I know this thing doesn't have sturdy. Because uh, I very much remember Rockhead Head Smash. <laughs> this thing is does damage. Uh, but... Sudo does not have a special defense. Like, very... It, it's, it's got physical defense. Special defense, eh. So, Solar Beam... Solar Beam should do the trick. It's not times four. But, yeah, there we go. Okay. Two down. 
what, three to go, right? Who's this? Okay. You would think, hey, it's a wish catch. Go solar beam it. It one shot the Quagsire, yes, but the Quagsire did not have a grass berry. And this is one of those things that if I was Rosary and not Houndoom, I would stay in and just attack through the berry. But I am not, and I will die if it doesn't die. Um, I might be able to kill, like it's still times four from a plus special attack Houndoom. But that berry though, but that berry though, I don't think it's worth the risk. It, I think it's going to end up being a roll. And with my luck, we won't win the roll. Um, so I think I'm going to go... Who do I? I guess Sausage? Or set up past something... I'm trying to remember. I know this thing has ice beam. It has ice coverage. I remember that. Um, because, again, with the, the grass type, I had Carnivine and Diamond. I was like, oh, it's a Wish Cash. Free, die. Oh, it lived. Oh, now I'm dead. Uh, <laughs> I could go into the tube, but if it has rock coverage. Okay, I think I go... I think I go Sausage. I don't know what it was gonna hit. I mean, whatever attack it was gonna use, we die. Hold up. Okay, that's annoying. I was thinking about going into the tube, too. Damn. Yes, I should've. Yeah, the burn. Okay. Uh... Scald is probably the best. Hey, what ability? I don't. You don't get water absorbed, do you? Oh God. Oh, well, let's find out. Okay. <laughs> if it does, it doesn't have it. God, that does nothing. My lord. Uh, again, I know the Elite Four has, like, max IVs and everything. Oh, yeah, the sun's up. <laughs> that would definitely hurt my damage. Forgot about that. But, of course, I'm sure, you know, Hydro Pump. So, what? Uh, Bulldoze, Hydro Pump, Ice Beam. I don't know what else you have. But okay. We're pretty good here. We are pretty good here. Uh, I kind of feel like she's going to heal. No. We should eat that. Oh, yeah. Now... The... Sausage should be able... To um, take out the rest of her team. I'm only worried about Golem having explosion. I don't actually know if it does. I just know it has sturdy. We're at minus two speed. There's the Golem. I'm gonna Scald. It outspeeds me. Marvel scale coming through. 69 HP. Nice. Scald. Can I get the burn? Let's go! Fuck, you're sturdy. Oh my god. Thank you, Sausage. Now, being at minus two speed, um, I think all that's left is a Poudon, right? A Poudon might actually outspeed me at minus two. So, while I would love to stay in and recover, um, I'm kind of afraid to. 
Because if I lose Sausage, if my Lottic goes down, we're in big trouble. Because my Lottic is really goddamn good. Um, you know what? Let me just, let's see. Check summary. 138, 90. But minus 2. God, I still, I, it's, a, it's like a weird, like, it's 2 over 6 or something. Mi minus 2 over 6. Or I, a fraction. God. Um, so I don't actually know the number we would end up with. But I don't know that it's worth the, the risk. Um, it probably is crunch. I mean, not going to Jeffrey. I guess I, I think we go into the tube. He, I wouldn't be surprised if she has rocks of some sort. Rock slide. Stone Edge even. Stone Edge is scary. But what I could do, because there's EQ. There we go. We'd also kind of stall out the um, sand. So let me see. From the tube, if you have Stone Edge or Rock Slide, we're going to go into Germaphobe and Scout. It's free for us. We'll take, like, no damage. Crunch. Okay. That, to me, says no. No, you do not. So, I'm going to yawn then swap back into the tube. EQ, we should eat that. Oh, yeah. It's a minus two attack. And that, that should be GG on Bertha. I'm so glad the focus sash strat worked out. Like, it, ideally, I would have liked it to go even further. It, we might have killed that Whiskat. We might have. Your resto chesto? That's disgusting, Bertha. That's gross. <laughs> Let's just—I was gonna I was thinking about D dancing. Yeah, waterfall. Crunch. Wow. Oh, that was great. I was about to say, why did that do so much? There goes the sandstorm. Dear child, don't assume for an instant that you've won. Um. Okay, the tube, I guess, still kind of likes me. It's thinking about bathing. <laughs> okay, yeah, crit for crit. How does it feel, Bertha? Oh. All right. Well, dear child, I must say that was most impressive. Your Pokemon believed in you and did their best to earn you the win. Even though I've lost, I find myself with this silly grin. Okay. Well, you're quite something, youngster. I like how you and your Pokemon earn the win by working as one. That's what makes you so strong. I think that you can go as far as you want. <sighs> okay. Well, that is going to be where we call this an episode all healthy and good but there we go that is gonna be it Ugh. i'm worried about the final two for sure the next one especially but that'll be for next episode i'm actually not even gonna record this one sitting i i am stressed enough <laughs> i don't want to do the rest in one sitting i should just to get it done and get the videos rendered and whatnot, but no, I'm I'm taking a break. So I'll see you tomorrow, uh, for you guys as guests as well too, for the latter half of the Elite Four. And then it's on to Cynthia if we make it there. But so far so good. So thank you all for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed, and I will see you next time. Bye.